Hey there, ladies and gents. It's your favorite Asian robot, and today I've got something special for you. I get to review the Fifine AmpliTank Tank 3 podcast microphone. Previously, and you will see me using it right now, I reviewed the AM8T. Um, it is a streaming and gaming microphone, but right now they have given me an opportunity to review a podcast microphone. What I'm going to do, though, this time around, is I'm going to do things a little bit different. I love this company. I love what they do and I love the fact that they care about the feedback from streamers, consumers, content creators, all this kind of stuff. They are a very genuine company. That's why I like them. That's why I like working with them. So what we're going to do is we're going to help them out a little bit, all right, by doing something different than just a plain old boring review. What you're going to see today in this video is the unboxing, okay, and the use of the microphone later on. You're going to see this change into the Tank 3. Okay, and we're gonna do that first. Then later on, once we get a bit more footage, uh, comparing both microphones for gaming, music, and all that kind of stuff, you're gonna see a fully detailed review, all right, released later on. You're also gonna see me using the Tank 3 on stream over several sessions, so if you haven't tuned into my streams, don't worry. You'll get an opportunity to see how it sounds live, how it feels for the audience, all of that stuff. Why am I going so far because honestly all they asked for was a review but i'm not gonna do that because honestly these guys deserve it okay i know i said honestly twice but these guys deserve it they are a wonderful company all right let me go through their website a little bit before we carry on all right again not paid not sponsored to do this all right but i, I want to help them out because i like them okay here we go let's check this out last time what i reviewed was the am8t this is a streaming microphone that has both a USB connection and an XLR connection. I am not using the XLR right now. I'm simply using the USB connection and it sounds wonderful. I love this microphone and have been using it for several weeks. If you want to grab it from their website, here it is. All right, you can actually grab it off Amazon as well. Um, the link to both of those is in the description of this video. All right. And what I'll be reviewing today is the Tank 3. The Tank 3 is basically a podcast type microphone. If you look under microphones, you'll see the Tank 3 is under podcasting, voiceover, vocal mics, as well as streaming mics. The Tank 3 is versatile, all right? It is a very versatile microphone with a heavy body and supposedly a warm sound. We'll see exactly how it sounds later on. Okay, if you want to grab it off Amazon, the, it'll, the price it'll cost you is uh, roughly, it's normally $89.99 USD on Amazon. It's about 10% off, limited time deal. It's $80.99 right now. Okay, so if you are interested in this microphone, well, make sure to keep watching because what we're going to do is we're going to unbox it. Okay, we're going to have an unboxing session. We're going to have a setup session and then we're gonna see how it sounds at the end of all that. But this is not the review video, all right? A full review and comparison video between this and the AMAT will be happening at a later date. So stay tuned, look forward to it, and let's go to the unboxing session right now. I'm excited, let's go. Okay, ladies and gents, today we're gonna to unbox the Fifine AmpliTank Tank 3 podcasting microphone. Let's start by opening up the box. So we're gonna lay it on its side right there. We're gonna open it up slowly. And when we do that, what you're gonna see is that the user guide is located right on top. Oh, I've got something blocking that way. Oh, there we go. So that's the user guide for the Tank 3 right there. We're gonna put it aside. Okay, after that, we're going to remove the styrofoam protector. So let's get rid of that now. And inside, what you will see is the Tank 3 microphone, which is located there and the USB cable, which is below it. This is for connecting to your PC, okay? Obviously, there is no boom arm in this one because the Tank 3 microphone and the boom arm are sold separately, but you can order them from the same website if you'd like. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go set this up and we're gonna see how it looks and sounds shortly. Okay, ladies and gents, we've now set up the Tank 3. I've put it in place of the AMT8 on the same boom arm. It looks amazing with its lovely black body, but it is kind of heavy. Um, there's the green mute button right there. But honestly, it looks great from all angles, and I can't wait to use it on stream. All right. Enjoy my budget setup. <laughs> okay. Hey there, ladies and gents. This is the Tank 3 all set up and ready for use. You're probably going to see this um, after the first few streams where I've already used the Tank 3. This is because I wanted to do some proper editing for the unboxing, but yeah. Um, 
this is set up ready to go and I'm just so excited um, let me know how you think my voice sounds in comparison to the AM8T which I was using at the very start in fact the unboxing and the setup videos were dubbed over using the Tank 3 because uh, I did the first one with the AM8T and I think the Tank 3 actually made those sound a bit better but it was really nice to do both the setup videos and put them all together now this isn't the full review the full review video will actually contain some extra comparisons for gaming music all that kind of stuff I've actually written a whole Whole new song just to perform and showcase the difference um, all of that will be happening uh, next week so please do give me some time for that but other than that I hope you guys will enjoy the sound of the tank 3 let me know what you think and here you know here's a quick reading all right I've been thinking about doing this and I thought to myself what would be an interesting way of not just doing the unboxing but also showing how this sounds this is a podcasting and music type microphone of course it's, it can be used for streamers as well but here's what I wanted to try okay I'm gonna do a little bit of a reading of a creepypasta called 1999 all right I'm just gonna read about three minutes of it but this will give you a good chance to see how somebody's voice will sound you know when they're reading something to you or you know when you just in that zone, in that reading podcast type zone. So here we go. In a cellar somewhere, standing before the camera, a man in a tatty, moth-eaten bear suit says hello to the small handful of watching children. This is a public access show viewed only by a small number of fans, a small number that includes you. As a child, you love Mr. Bear. You don't care that he broadcasts from his cellar, that there's something remarkably dark about the way those polished button eyes stare into the camera lens. As a child, you don't see those things. When Mr. Bear suggests you write to him, you jump at the chance. When he writes back asking you to visit him, you jump at the chance too. As a child, there are some things you just don't see. You don't see the man beneath the bear suit, or that bears have teeth and claws. As a child, there are some things you don't see, and of course, some things that you aren't supposed to. 1999, also sometimes referred to as Mr. Bear's Cellar, or Caledon Local 21, is a creepypasta story about a fictional television show. The show, which was a kid's television program and is claimed to have shown on a public access station and was only available to a very small viewership in a tiny geographical area. The story set ten years after the show was supposed to have gone off the air gives an account of the series which is alleged to have been hosted by a character called Mr. Bear, essentially a man in a bear suit which was a parody of Bear in the Big Blue House. Okay, the year is 1999. That sentence brings me back to my senior kindergarten class when I was five years old where we used to read out the date on the blackboard every single day. The year 1999 exists as a stain in my mind, however, as a memory that will not go away, no matter how I try to forget it. 1999 marked the year I lost my first tooth, my first time on a plane, and unfortunately the early loss of my childhood innocence, that one memory that refuses to be wiped. It all started with that new or old TV. At that time, Pokemon was the latest fad to hit the school. Pokemon cards, games, stickers, and the most popular, the TV show. So of course, every time I came home from school, I would stay glued to the TV until Pokemon came on at 5. The only problem was that my dad watched the news at 5.30 and Pokemon episodes were back to back, which meant that I had to miss an episode every day, something I whined on and on about. My dad got tired of hearing me complain every day, that must be why he went and bought another TV. My dad put the TV he bought in my room. Unfortunately, it was just an old, small boob tube with rabbit ears even. It only had 20 channels available, not including the channel Pokemon was on. I recall I didn't care, though. I was thrilled that I had my own TV in my room. After surfing through the channels, I came to the conclusion that only Channel 2, TVO Kids, was worth watching. So I watched that for a while. It wasn't for another few months until I discovered Channel 21. One day in April, I was flipping through the channels, trying to see if Pokemon was on. I pressed Channel 21 into the remote, hoping there were more channels, and to my delight, there was. My dad was surprised too, but he let me watch it because it seemed to have kids' programs on. 
The channel was called Caledon 21 Local. Caledon Local 21, sorry. And later I found out it was indeed broadcasted from the town of Caledon, Ontario, a town very close to my city. The shows I saw on Caledon 21 looked poorly made, and I never understood what was going on in them half the time. However, as I grew up, every time I thought of that channel, I realized more and more how messed up the shows were, and I had to ask myself, what was I watching? Well, there you go. Short reading. Let me know how it sounded. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing. If you think, think, if you think the Tank 3 sounds good, well, do look forward to my review where I compare it to the AM8T. Thank you so, so much for everything you guys do for me, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Get you later.